guys, welcome to Baking and Books. My name is Lexi and I'm an amateur baker who loves to read. So each week I post videos of myself attempting to bake something new while also talking about a book that I have recently read or just really love. Today I'm gonna be making some lemon brownies. Should be pretty interesting, so I'm excited to get into that. And we're gonna be talking about the Airsats Elevator by Lemony Snicket. And I hope that's how you say it. It seems like that's how it's spelled, so that's what we're going with. This is the sixth book in the series of Unfortunate Events series, and I will try to link the fifth one below if you haven't seen my video on that. Uh, if you haven't read or seen films or anything, if you don't know this series, I wouldn't start here. It's gonna have a little bit of spoilers for you, so you definitely want to at least go back and watch my other videos on these, or go read the books or watch the Netflix series or something of that nature. But otherwise, we're gonna dive in and we're gonna see what we find along the way. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a quick synopsis, but first I'm going to remember to put my apron on so that I don't get super dirty. Hope you all had a wonderful Easter. I forgot to make something for Easter last week, so we just, we just missed it this year and that's just life. So we'll try again next year, but hope you all had a wonderful day. So we start off book number six. Uh, the children are being adopted by a couple in the very like posh part of town and everything is based on like what's in and what's out at the time very fashionable and they're kind of excited I mean they're gonna have a new home but kind of nervous but of course living in and out is not that much fun um, Jerome and Esme are kind of a strange couple Jerome is nice and actually enjoys having the children and is excited to have them and Esme is kind of like only having the children because orphans are in right now so it's very chic to have the children so it's not really super great and of course even though they have food and a really beautiful apartment that they live in Count Olaf always turns up always causing trouble and this time they're also super stressed out about their friends, the Quagmires. So they have to kind of like navigate around those feelings as well. And Esme and Jerome are not super helpful when it comes to that. Surprise, surprise. So it's not great for the Baudelaire orphans. And of course with Count Olaf in the picture, mayhem will always ensue. So that's pretty much it. So at this point, if you don't want things spoiled for you, then go ahead and skip forward until it says no more spoilers, and you can see how our brownies turned out without having anything ruined for you. If you've already read this book or you just don't care, then stay with me and we'll get deeper into the story. The thing is about this book is that again, right away, we see this idea that we've seen before of there being no in-between with the adults. You either have adults who want to help the children like Jerome, and they, you know, they like the children and they want to be there for them. They want to incorporate them into their lives. And then you have characters like Esme who just doesn't care and who's just like not a very nice person right from the start. And there's just no in between. And so it's just kind of one of those things that's like, how? Like, why are these adults written like this? And it's just kind of obnoxious. Like, we can have some good adults for a change, maybe. I, I think we're going to get there, if I remember correctly. Like, not trying to do spoilers, just like, I think we will eventually get to the point where we have adults who are actually like, ah, who are actually like brave and willing to do things. Because that's the thing is you have these adults like Jerome who are good to the kids, but they're not brave enough to like stand up to anybody. So instead of like standing up to his wife, and being like, hey, yeah, we're not going to treat the kids this way. Jerome just like lets it happen because he doesn't want to stand up to his wife. So it's just kind of obnoxious. The other thing I don't understand is why there, why are there so many rooms in this apartment? Like who needs this much space? And maybe it's one of those things that's written more from like a child's point of view. So maybe it really is just like, it's a large apartment. It has a lot of rooms, but it's not quite as big as maybe the story is making it out to be because it's written from a child's point of view. I don't know, maybe. But I also just feel like maybe not. I, I don't know, I don't really understand it. Cause I would just think like, yeah, having a lot of rooms is great, but why? Why do you need, why do you need like 60 some rooms? Like it talks about how there's so many rooms that they constantly get lost in like multiple kitchens. Like, why do you need that? Okay, here we go. This already smells like crazy lemony. So hopefully that's a good thing and it will be really nice and 
a good nice golden color and, and nice and lemony because that's what we want. It smells good. Okay, as soon as this is done, it goes into the pan and gets to baking and then we can make the icing that goes on top. Also, I will say um, you're supposed to be using lemon juice and lemon zest. I'm using lemon extract. Uh, the last time I tried to make anything with lemon that had to do with lemon zest um, and lemon juice, I read up on it and it said that you can use lemon extract instead. Um, I think the extract is just a little more potent and so they advise that you kind of have to be careful how much you put in. But I found the last time that we did this that it really, you can, seems like you can put in about the same amount that's described in the ingredients. The lemon extract is really not quite as powerful as they made it out to be, and I think it's probably okay. I have a nice fancy pan with like a separator that goes in it so that you can separate everything into squares right off the bat, um, but it was too big, unfortunately, for this recipe. This recipe doesn't need quite as big of a pan, so I wasn't able to use it, which was kind of a disappointment, but that's okay. Okay, let's taste it. Ooh, I like that. Okay, in the oven we go. Okay, so now we're gonna make the icing that goes with it. The thing that really got me about this one though is that the kids are climbing down and then back up in 66 floors on a rope. Like I just think that there's no way, especially Sunny. And Sunny does it I think more than the other two because she like goes back up for stuff afterwards. So like Sunny's doing it more than anybody else. And I just don't, I don't know about that. I really just don't. I have a hard time believing that that is possible because like, I don't think that I as an adult could do that, let alone any anything else, like doing that as a child. All right, we're going off the rails a little bit because I don't have enough lemon extract as I thought that I did. And so my icing is not going to be like a good runny icing because there's not enough liquid to go with the sugar. So I am adding some heavy whipping cream to see what we get. Now we don't have to have icing over these. You know I'm not a huge fan of icing anyway. So, you know, we don't necessarily have to have icing, but if I can make it work this way, then that might be better in the long run. And then at least maybe some of them can have icing and the rest don't necessarily have. I think also too, like there's some comment made about Beatrice like being dead and murdered. And I feel like we just kind of like skip right over it. We're just, we're just not thinking about it. And I know that we haven't really found out like as the reader, if you're a first time reader, we haven't found out really who Beatrice is yet, but you will. And I think as somebody who does know, it kind of surprises me that we just skimmed over it. So I don't know, but it is interesting the way that these books handle death, you know, and I've said that before, that it just kind of like, it just is what it is. And these books don't really spend a lot of time, you know, trying to pretend to be something they're not, you know, death happens, which I kind of like. I mean, you know, kids need to understand that, that that is how the circle of life works. So, you know, I'm not opposed to that, but I do think it's interesting that, uh, there is some comment made about her and it's very much just like skimmed right over. Okay, let's taste this. Oh, that's fine. It's lemony, it's nice. Saved the day here, didn't you, with heavy whipping? Oh no, this is half and half and not heavy whipping. Whatever, half and half, it works. So let it be known, I'm getting to that point in my baking where I can start improvising a little bit. Okay, if you left because of spoilers, go ahead and come back. Our brownies went in the oven and they came out. We made the icing and now I'm gonna add the icing to them. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna poke some holes. Boop, 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 boop. And then I'm gonna pour the icing over top. It's not very much, but I think that's okay because I don't think we want like a ton. But I poked some holes in it because I want it to kind of like seep in here. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna come out really easily, which is good. I sprayed the pan before I put it in there, so. Okay, let's cut it up and see what happens. My little baby spatula is in the dishwasher, so we're gonna bring this out here. Oh yeah. Okay, hey, let's take a look. Okay, there she is in all her glory. I mean, it looks pretty good, so let's see. I'm expecting it to be hot because I didn't really let them cool, because we all know that's the kind of person that I am. Blow on it first. Mm, that is some lemon right there. Honestly, that's delicious. Very lemony. We definitely put in plenty of 
of the lemon extract, that's for sure. This is so good. A second bite, just to make sure. Mm hmm yeah, so good, love this. Honestly, I'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10. I think we made it work. I mean, we saved the icing with the half and half. It's really good. I honestly, I'm kind of glad that I didn't have the lemon juice because the lemon extract that I put in the batter really comes out super strong. So I honestly think that if we'd have put more lemon extract or more lemon juice in the icing, it would be too much. But I do like the icing. I'm glad I put it on top. It's thinner, so it doesn't sit super heavy, and it kind of just soaks into it, and so it's super good. 10 out of 10 for sure. And honestly, hold that thought really quick. Let me show you how cute they are in the little pan after I cut them. Look, I cut them so well. Look at that. They're all just cut so beautifully, and they come out in these cute little squares. Not only because I put the pan spray in there first, but I think too because there was um, icing. It just like slides right out into these beautiful little squares. So 10 out of 10 for sure. I'm gonna give this book a four out of 10. I'm, I am struggling with this series. If you've been with me, you know that that's true. And it's just because I just feel like, how? How are we letting this happen in, in the world? And I know it's not the real world. I know it's fiction told from the point of view of children, but come on, how are we letting this happen? Um, but I do think that with the fifth book and the introduction of the Quagmire triplets, I think that this gets more interesting because now there's somebody else we know is good in their lives that we're trying to bring into the story and keep it to the story. So I do think that's good. I'm gonna go with a four out of five on this one. If you have other book recommendations that you want me to try or baking recommendations, go ahead and throw those my way. I'm always looking for new stuff and I would love to try whatever you have to throw my way. If you want, you can follow me over on Instagram. That's typically where I post what I'm reading. So if you want to follow my journey, you can. And of course, feel free to follow me on all other social media as well. That's all down below in the description box. If you had fun today, please like and subscribe. I try to be here for you every week and I'm always a little bit of fun and a little bit of hot mess. Today we were less hot mess, so that was a check mark for me but um, we don't always get that. <laughs> These were pretty easy recipes, so with tougher recipes, it's a little more of a hot mess. But that's okay, that's what makes me charming, right? So thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys next time.